people, how are you doing today? January 17th, big day. Everything goes well. Snowed a lot last night, but uh, I'll be getting braces today, and that's going to be a major impact on my life. I'm making this video before I get it done, a little before and after. So yeah, I'm 40 years old, and I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, and I don't know, life happens, you don't have enough money, time, so it's all kind of come together now. Actually, my son was going to get braces, and I had went like two years ago to get a consultation, but just, like I said, didn't have the time, the money, my insurance didn't cover a lot of it. When I went back for my son, who's turning 10, he had to get some for his top teeth, and they told me my insurance covered more of mine than originally thought. So here I am. I'm going to be getting braces. Not only am I getting braces, I'm going to be going with my son to get them at the same time. So is that kind of strange? Yeah, it is. But So I'm going to try to vlog my experience about this entire ordeal. It's going to be weird, man. It's uh, I'm sure people will be looking at me strange, but the goal in about two years to have it, have it done... And I mean, I'll talk about that in another vlog for sure, but it's just a little pre, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm very anxious right now, I'm nervous. Wish me luck, this begins a journey. So it's snowed, the offices might be closed, but it looks like they're gonna be open. So I don't know, man, it's, oh, nerves. We'll see what happens, guys. I will uh, do more later. I now have braces in my mouth, which is very, very freaking weird. So there you go. So yeah, I got it done. It was pretty painless process. There was no pain involved putting them on. They told me that tomorrow morning, maybe a different story. I probably won't want to eat. Right now it feels really weird. Like there's just like, I mean like there's stuff all in my mouth, which makes sense because there's stuff all in my mouth so today was an easy day to get it done it was a snow day kids were out of school I'm off work really don't have to deal with a lot of people so tomorrow is gonna be interesting because I will go back to work and have to deal with a thousand comments probably so I guess I got two options, lay low and try to dodge people or just come out and get it done. I don't know, vlogging this, people are going to see it, so wh what are you going to do, you know? Um, I've got more things ahead though. I've got two teeth on the bottom I have to get extracted, so there's that, and I really don't know. I mean, truthfully, you know, like sometimes I'll go to the doctor the dentist and they'll talk a lot and I hear what they're saying for the most part but I forget sometimes or I just don't know or unsure of some of it so um, but it's gonna be definitely a, a, an experience an adventure like I said right now I'm feeling okay but I know there is some painful moments coming up ahead Extraction is not going to be fun, and we'll just see. We'll get there. It's uh, I thought it was a two-year process. Uh, today it's a thirty-month process, so that's two and a half-year process. But you know, I th I'm thinking it'll be worth it. You know, it's two and a half years. I'll be forty-three, something like that. Yeah, I turned forty-one this year, so I'll be forty-three. So I don't know. It's just something. I need to get done. But like I said, the process was easy. Went in, loved the doctor, Dr. Um, Dr. Jerson, who works at Hillsboro, Hillsboro Orthodontics. He's a great guy. The staff there is great. They were the best. Especially when you're going to pick a dentist, for me, is that I really look, is the staff friendly? Is the dentist friendly? Like, that's like my big two checkoffs because I'm not going to go somewhere and spend my money for staff that's just like not friendly. And because I encountered that uh, just two years, two or three years ago, I was going to see a specialist and she was not a nice person. And I stopped going and I told him that's why. Didn't even need the specialist apparently. But that's another story I'll get to in another day because the braces process, I actually tried to get this done when I was like 20, 21. Needed a few root canals, didn't have any money, so pushed it off. 
then tried to get it done two or three years ago, didn't think my insurance covered it, so we're here today. And I will hopefully get into that one day. That's a good story to tell. But right now, braces, man. I'm here. Um, my son got four braces on the top, and then he's going to get something called a collapser on the top of his mouth. This is more of a prep for when he gets a little bit older, but yeah, man. I don't know. I, I'm not really looking forward to going out in public and dealing with people. That's kind of my personality anyway, but we're here now. It's done. It's like when you're standing, when you go up to the high dive of a pool, you know, you just jump in. I mean, you can stand there and look at the water all day long. I've jumped in. I'm in. I'm in the water. So, so if you have any tips, suggestions, comments, anything like that, let me know. I figure most people I know in my life are going to be encouraging. So, you know, the people that don't, what can you do? I don't know. All right. So I will continue to vlog about this. Give me some material. I will, uh, you'll see me soon.